What's up everybody? It's Fired Up Friday. And I hope everybody's fired up. I'm pretty fired up. I also got pretty sick. I haven't been feeling good for the last few days. But uh, other than that, not bad. I just want to say that you guys took me up to 106 subscribers, which I really appreciate. I never expected it to go that much. I think it's great. I'm glad everybody's following along with all the craziness that I do and whatnot. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I don't want to bore you guys too much with anything. If there's something that you want to see or whatever, you know, please let me know, whatever the case may be. But anyways, I've got a total of 11 shoutouts that I want to do for some new subscribers. I'm going to start out with I-K-L-E-P-U-D. I don't even know how you would even pronounce that. So it's just I-K-L-E-P-U-D. Then you got Lions... Lionhead Aquaria. You've got FK Nali, which is F K N A L I. You've got John B, aka Legs, which I had believed you subscribed once before. I'm not sure what happened, but welcome back. Thanks for resubscribing. You've got Lolly Tard 5000, which is L O L Y T A R D 5000. Joey7753, that's Joey, meaning J O E E, 7753. God of Fish Tanks, God Nothing 666. His title on his channel is actually XXXXX, five X's in a row. And you got Slap a Baboon, which was just my most recent subscription. And then the one that took me over the top to make it 100, that goes out to Rocker Gamer 987, also known as Redemptions. So I want to thank you very much for taking me up to the 100 sub mark and then beyond, guys. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Like I said, I never expected it to actually go that high, but I think it's pretty awesome that it did. So, I mean, I'm going to definitely make some other videos and what have you. This is the 75. I just want to show you what's going on here real quick. That money wart is actually starting to throw roots out of it. See there? I don't have a bloom yet on this actual end of it. But uh, the plant's actually looking really good, so... I'm pretty impressed with the way that looks. The other one, he's still back here doing whatever he's doing. I'm going to start figuring out ways to change these bigger plants towards the back or crop them down or something. The uh, Kabamba here, as you can see, I cropped it again. I sent those three shoots to 3093 Andrew. And hopefully he'll get them by Saturday. I had sent them yesterday. So I'm really hoping that he'll be getting them. I don't know if I've ever told you what all the actual fish are in here. But that one back there was called a, a blue tiger gourami. The one up there was considered an orange tiger gourami. He's the one. He's a shy one. Where is he at? Right there. That's the orange tiger gourami. I've had these guys since they were about an inch long, and now they're about four inches or so. This here is one of my Aussie rainbows. That's the newest Aussie. Um, I did have a companion for the bigger one originally, but she ended up passing away. I don't remember if it was an ick problem or what have you, but... Back in the background, I've got the female cherry barb, and then the male cherry barb over here. The one female passed away, I'm not sure exactly what happened to her, but I did have two to one on that as far as a ratio. I've got my brass tetras, which are right there. Not a whole lot left, but I think there's three of them now out of the 15 or so that I had. But that was due to the fact of all the issues that my tank suffered when it came to that hurricane or Super Storm Standy or whatever you call it. 
and then of course you get the neons in here also there's the three plecos which are the royal pleco the golden pleco or golden nugget pleco and the little bulldog pleco as you can see they've all been kind of gnawing around on my ironwood here kind of cleaning it up so it's actually looking pretty cool the way they sand that down like they are I like the look of it when they do that so it's pretty awesome uh, other than that that's the 75 here's a shot of the 20 gallon as you can see I like this one a lot under this T8 bulb because I'm seeing with T8s everything grows fine but it's not growing in such a state to where you're constantly having to trim it it's just got a nice slow growth I mean look at the wisteria back there you can see it's got all of its new little things coming out of it little runners and whatnot but it's not growing like a jungle so it's just nice it's like a peaceful tank really the sword back there is the same thing it's just growing nice at a nice steady pace the uh, crazy Java moss that I've got over here it's just growing this nice little stringy look which I haven't really ever seen my Java moss ever grow real thin wiry strands like that before so I think it's kind of cool Swisteria in the front I mean see look at how it's just nice it's not all raggy looking I haven't touched any of this stuff in this tank either that's what's cool about it the uh, moss it's starting to fill itself out you see it growing it's a little ratty looking because I haven't trimmed it but you can see it's taking and growing itself out it's looking pretty cool um, and that's the same thing with this kabamba right here it's doing its thing but it's not growing at such a rapid pace that it's like over here I've trimmed this thing like five times since I've put them in there and as you can see I mean here's the next top brand new heading up and that little tiny one that I thought was gonna end up pooping out on me look at this thing there it goes headed towards the top so that'll be another one I'm gonna be chopping off so yeah and again in here you've got the two swords which that's the female and there's the male over there with that really cool looking tail and you got the two female guppies over here and of course their mate over here messing around and then over here there's the mini saltwater tank it's a five gallon mini nano reef I show everybody the coral line pretty much every time I do the video on it but I'm just showing you this is a regular T8 bulb and you can see the coral line is just continuing which is awesome you know there's the happy little mushroom so that's looking really good um, then down here there's the mountain scene I'm gonna have to change up that water a little bit I had done a couple of things and I forgot to actually do a water change real quick on it but that's the crazy mountain scene I took the twig out it was like a 50-50 like and not like so I the main thing that the reason I put that twig in there I was just looking for depth I wanted it to look kind of like you're coming out of a forest and you walked out into like a filled area and that's what you saw kind of like from a forest edge and whatnot so I'm gonna still try to figure this one out and try to get that out of it I mean it looks good as far as how it is it definitely gives it the depth just because the rocks are small enough to where it does look like they're pretty far away. Um, There's the little guy. I didn't give up on it. I don't know if I can get a good shot of it, but you can clearly see that everything inside there is looking good if it stays in focus. <laughs> but everything is looking nice. It's hanging in there. A little dirty tank for all my dirty buddies. Everything I do is dirt. Got a lot of skeptics out there with dirt, but that's all right. And then over here is the 55 gallon salt. 
I'm gonna go ahead and flip the light on so these fish are gonna probably flip out on me for doing this but I'm gonna do it as you can see the entire face of this thing is a green algae it's still going through its recovery because of the new sand and whatnot so let's see you can see it's going into that stage before the storm actually hit and wiped everything out on me this is exactly where it was at before that happened and then it cleared up and then that was it it was done so I got my snails working hard at it that's what all these crazy designs are that are inside here that's all the snails doing their thing uh, show you some quick things everything's pretty much closed up because it was off but as you can see the torch here he's in la la land at the moment sleeping it up the uh, fire shrimp kind of hard to see him but there he is the uh, pulsing zinnia is sleeping <laughs> everybody got knocked out here and there's the Aiken, same thing, pretty much sleeping. I guess they feed at night, so you see a lot of the tentacles out, but... And then over here, the same thing with my mushrooms. Everybody's sleeping. The uh, polyps up here, they're sleeping. Those polyps used to be all the way over here on this rock with uh, this set of polyps over here, but you see everybody's out for the night so I just want to give a quick shot at what the tank is actually looking like but uh yeah it's in that final stage to where it's gonna hopefully recuperate fully and get back on track a little bit of cyano still going on you can see that it's dying see how it's waving around that's showing that it is definitely dying over here you can see it kind of waving in the breeze a little bit but if you look back here behind this this is all totally gone now so it's clearing up there's a little bit more doing a little bit of a wave but and all this green hair grassy looking stuff same thing a few days it'll be gone so and up here on the rock as well it's just a uh, part of it doing its thing Anyways, I'm going to shut this thing off. Alright guys, so that's it. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. Hope you all enjoyed your Christmas and everything came out good. New Year's is around the corner. So I want to wish everybody a happy New Year just in case. A lot of you I don't happen to talk to or text or whatever the case may be. So with that guys, I'll talk to you later and hope you enjoyed and thanks again to my 106 subscribers I really do appreciate it all right guys with that bye bye